Okay, doing a quick video of the Ceron wiring harness, all the connections on it. Uh, if you're doing a build from scratch, from the frame up, and you've never built a Ceron before, this will be a big help to you because uh, I'm building from scratch, from my bare frame, never had a Ceron before, so didn't have the old one to take apart. And if you buy the harness, when you buy the harness, it's not labeled, so... It actually was fairly difficult to figure out all these connections. Uh, had to spend a lot of hours researching and talking with people on the forum. So here we go. These are all the connections on your, and by the way, this is of course for light B, not talking about ultra B. Uh, so we start from here. I call this the bottom section with this big boot. This is the part that goes down at the bottom of the controller by the motor here. So starting here, we have this connector, a six pin female. That is your hall sensor connector for the motor. Okay. This next one, which is a three pin male, that's your throttle connector. That I actually had wrong at first, but this is your throttle. I'm actually today going to be wearing my uh, domino throttle to connect to that, soldering it. Uh, this one here, which is your four pin female, that connects to your DC-DC. And I'll pause for one second and connect that. Okay, so again, that guy, that guy is DC DC. This one, which is a three pin female, that's your kickstand sensor. Note, it does not have to be connected. You don't have to have a kickstand sensor. The bike will work okay without it. Uh, I need to mention here, very important nuance. I am building the bike with the EBMX uh, X9000 version two controller. So I'm not using a lot of the stock uh, controller connections. So what I'm going to talk about here is going to be related to the using with the X9000. So keep that in mind. Uh, okay, now we're going up here. These connectors are where I call the neck of the bike, going up the frame here, no closer to the steering tube. So coming out there, we've got the tilt sensor. That's this white uh, three-pin female. Sorry about that, moving around. That's a tilt sensor. Now these don't worry about these question marks because they are correct, I verified. This one, your gray two pin female, that's the main battery in that comes from your battery, which is gonna be 60, 72, or in my case, 80 volts. I noticed on uh, some of the Suron diagrams, the wiring diagrams, I looked at, at all of them. Uh, it lists different color wires than I have. This harness was pur purchased at the end of 2023. So keep that in mind that if you're looking at that wiring diagram, the wire colors may not match what you have, but pretty much everywhere, green is uh, ground. No, almost everywhere. Uh, this, no, these connectors there, in my case, red and green, that is for the horn. So again, this is by the horn, by the neck of the bike. Now, we're going up to the upper section, which is under your, your key plate there. Um, let's go first with this one. This four-pin male, that hooks up to the OEM uh, display. That is for the OEM display. If you're using the X9000, that's not going to be used, but that's that one. Uh, this one, which is a four pin female, that's for this guy here, your sport horn switch. So that, that connects to there. So again, that's a four pin female for the sport horn. Uh, up at the top here, we have headlight, which is correct. That's a two pin female. That's for the stock headlight or aftermarket. And then these two guys here, if I can grab it, these two two pin males, those are your brake sensors. And those don't have to be used. The bike will operate okay without them. Uh, now let's go back down here because I skipped over the controller connections. I have these three loomed together. So this one, which is a Eight pin female, that's controller. This big one there, which is what, a nine pin? Yeah, female. These are controller. And this three pin uh, triangular female, that's a controller one also. However, when you're using, that's for stock. When you're using the X9000, this guy is not needed. But actually, I do need this guy because this is what I need to connect to my domino throttle. So I'm going to be chopping this off and doing my using this one for my domino throttle connection. But uh, just keep in mind, for the stock controller, this is needed. I don't know, don't know about BAC, but for the X9000, this is not needed. So 
let's see, we went over all those controller connections, uh, display, I mentioned that, that's the four pin, no, I'm sorry, three pins, male, sport horn, which is that guy, female, which connects to, to that switch. Now, this is by your key switch. Now, going further up, we've got the, um, no, obviously your low voltage fuse. Sorry, not moving around here. That's there. Then these two, which are loomed together, logically, they're together because the key and for your USB power. USB, you know, is these connectors, in my case, green and black. Key, in my case, is brown and red. But again, on the wiring harness, uh, you know, diagrams I have, some of the connections are different color. Now, we're going further back. These are going along the seat. No, under your seat to the back of the bike. So, I'm sorry, not all of them. This this long one is. This is for uh, your battery OEM. You know, the one that this is plugs into the top of the OEM battery. If you're using the X9000, if you're using an aftermarket battery, this is superfluous. It's not, u not used and uh, not needed, so... You can, you know, uh, waterproof it, fold it up, and put it away. Now, this thin lead is going to the back of the bike under the seat. Uh, I originally thought this was throttle. Obviously, it's not right. This is for the factory GPS, which I actually wasn't even aware of that that was available, but that's for the GPS, pretty much not used by most people. And then this little ones here, those guys, that's for your taillight. So that is pretty much it. Um, let's see, what else did I cover? Everything, controller headlight, USB, uh, key is that, battery, tilt, horn, and then at the bottom here, kickstand, DC, DC, is that guy, throttle is your triangular, three pin male, and motor hall sensor is that guy. I know I'm repeating myself, I'm just going over everything to make sure I didn't miss it. I'm going to post this actually separately uh, as a standalone video so people can have it for a reference if you're building from scratch. This will be a big help because uh, this right here gives you information that I spent many, 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 many hours and, and some mistakes, uh, uh, you know, figuring out. Hold on, let's see if I can turn this sideways to get a better overall view of it. Now that is the beast overall. Uh, I'm going to include this, obviously, in my whole Suron 80-volt build video, which is going to be several months from now coming out. But I'll post this separately, so this can be used in the future. Uh, if you need it and you need to know what all these connections are on the light B wiring harness, uh, there you go. So I hope, hope this helps others who are doing the same thing.